Traders, hi, how are we all doing? This is going to be a quick little wrap up video, and I, it's not going to be an end of week uh, wrap up where it, you know I evaluate all my trades. I don't actually believe I took any trades this week. Let me just have a little looky loo. I'm just getting set up so everyone can see. MGTR was 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 a real non player today, as well as you can see it. Sort of, it's just done nothing, um, which is typical of the stock as well. To be honest, it's a pretty uneventful type type stock, unless I mean Bitcoin does something crazy. But they even, you know, if they released some news today, maybe. Um, but it did spike a little bit when they announced their acquisition of two thousand more Bitcoin mining um, units. All right, so let me see the material. Can I take any trades? I missed open this up, guys. Sorry about this. It's been a bit pretty eventful evening. I was uh, on Skype with my um, friend from Perth, Chad, who does the stock trading, the penny stock trading as well. And we were watching BTCS, LBIX. Using the uh, the scanners provided by Socks to Trade. Okay, it's just loading now. Hopefully, my laptop can just deal with it. It'd be good. No, as I thought, no trades uh, this week. My last trade was on. What is that? Scott? That's the 2nd of October. Okay, and that's the 5th. Alright, so I'm f there's been no... What's today? 13th. I guess, I mean, the main thing would have been... I had, I had morning shifts. So... Oh, I don't want to close that down. <laughs> I didn't... The concern was, you know, I have work at 4 in the morning. So it was quite challenging for me to sort of stay up and, and monitor things. So I don't really like to take the trade and just leave it. I'm going to have to probably learn how to do that though, to be honest. But um, definitely want to discuss a few things. MGTI, you know, the plan was to potentially have a, you know, a breakout move. But Tim probably played it the best where he got in, you know, at the news release of uh, MGTR acquiring more Bitcoin miners, taking advantage of obviously the, the the rise in the price. Let's just see what Bitcoin's doing as well. Oh, five seven. Let me uh, just get this across here. So that's what it's doing. That's. Um, could go to six six thousand this weekend. That's a potential. <laughs> wow, nearly trading all time highs again. So it's a little concerning that where the price is at. But MGTI is a flawed financial company as well. If you just, I mean, if you look at the, if we go and have a little looky loo. I feel like I'm losing my voice, guys. So I'm not going to talk unnecessarily. Key stats. Balance sheet. Okay. <laughs> it's not it's not a very healthy company. Diluted as well. You can have some nasty financing revenue. It's just not really that great, and that's reflective with what it's doing now. It's it's doing this when, you know, the the price of Bitcoin is so high. So we're going to disregard that. Now BTCS. I was watching this with uh, with chat. And I had issues with my Interactive Brokers demo account. So it's, it's actually expired. Um, and that was linked to Stocks to Trade as well. So 
I couldn't obviously do the demo trading on this platform either, which was a little frustrating because this happened. Now it's lagging a little bit, but there was a nice little double bottom. And I really like this. This is a high probability setup. This is also um, present in Forex trading. It's called a last kiss is what I was taught um, by Walter Peters. And that's pretty much right here. I was trying to enter. I was trying to log in and it was saying wrong password. So I called up. He explained to me, yeah, and um, look, I'm just not really ready to fund a 10 grand account, uh, to be fair. And really, this month has been my first proper, really dialed in focus trading a couple of systems uh, type of demo trading. So I want another couple of months, but I'm going to open up a very small sure trader account, sure trader account uh, for $500 and I'll be taking very small positions. <laughs> With that, because currently this is a green month for me. I'm up around uh, around seventy eight dollars or something like that US. So that's not too bad. But yeah, BTCS had a nice little run up, and I watched this and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't trade it. And LBIX also was a nice little breakout trade, and there was nothing really significant either. I'm, I'm getting some lagging issues here, guys, mm -hmm. but. The breakout was was here, so it really held in the two seventies, and then it just broke up, and then the high was three fourteen. So there was some potential here, but really BTCS was had the strong catalyst, had the double bottom. Mm -hmm. So congrats, guys, that are uh, that got in some trades. I'm going to call it a night. No trades for me this week. Uh, so the, this could probably be an analysis video as well, uh, to be honest. Next week, uh, the broker account, it's going to be, I'm going to have the live account because I don't want to keep resetting uh, you know, demo accounts. So at least it's, something's funded. So I have a demo account as well. So there's no issues. Thank you for watching, guys. Happy trading and enjoy your weekend. Bye.